At Silverhammer Surveillance, not only are we security specialists, but we're also smart home specialists. We're big into tech. So people ask me all the time, what are some of your favorite tech devices? What do you use in your own smart home? Well, if you've seen the tour of our smart apartment, which I'll put the link in the description below of that video, you know that one of my favorite devices and one of the items that I use in my smart apartment are the brilliant light switches. So today we're going to do a little review of the brilliant switches. We're going to give you an overview of the switches themselves. We're going to talk about the app and we're going to talk about some of the compatibility that you can use these bad boys with. So let's get started. So the Brilliant family of products includes their control panel, which is a touch screen with light switches, and then they have smart plugs, and then they have a regular smart switch. Today we're going to talk about the control panel, which is kind of what they're most famous for. You have the touch panel and the slider switches. So again, we're going to kind of do a review, talk about the app, and then talk about the compatibility and what you can use these switches with. So here we go. The Brilliant switches come in a couple different options. You got the single switch, double switch, the three switch, and the four switch. They're all pretty easy to install. On average, it's about 30 minutes. Once you get in the groove, much quicker than that on your second switch, etc. The startup guide that comes in the box, very easy to follow. Otherwise, there are several brilliant videos out there on YouTube that make it even easier to install. The requirements to purchase a Brilliant or install a Brilliant, you just need to have the following wires, the load, line, ground, and neutral wires. So just make sure that you have those in your home before you purchase a Brilliant. Moving on to the actual functionality of the control panel. Okay, so you have your light sliders. They work just like a light switch, except you can dim and you know control the setting of the actual lights. Here you can go into each room and slide the lights. You can go light by light, or you can control them all on or off. And again, go room by room and have full control. And not only for the Brilliant switches themselves, but if you have smart lights like the Hue, you can also control those in the Brilliant as well. So it's a lot more useful than just the Brilliants themselves. You can pretty much control anything in your smart home. Then you can move on to the thermostat. And here you've got full control of your smart thermostat if it's a compatible brand, which we'll talk about at the end of the video. But you can control the mode, the temperature, and you know the basic functionality of your thermostat. Then you've got your smart locks. So if you've got a compatible smart lock, you can unlock your lock from here and lock the lock from here. Very easy to use. And then a really cool feature specific to people that love Sonos is it can control your Sonos. So you can control your different playlists. You can skip tracks, you can control the volume, shuffle, repeat, basic functionality, but actually it's it's not even really that basic. You've got quite a bit that you can do here with Sonos. So it's one of my favorite features, and I know Sonos people love this thing. Then you can set scenes. I've just got the basic scenes, lights on, lights off, but you can set different scenes. And then Alexa is built into this thing, so you can actually talk to it and use Alexa through the Brilliant. And then you've got uh, cameras built in. So each Brilliant you have has a camera built in. You can view that camera. You can also talk on that camera. There you can see my camera. And I can go from room to room. And again, not only can I see the video, but I can also use the intercom. And the intercom you can actually use separately from the camera as well. Here you can see that you've got both the video option and just the intercom option. And then you can set alarms. You can do a couple different things with that, but uh, I don't personally use that one, but it's there. And then here's just the general settings. So connectivity, basically when you first get the Brilliant, you obviously connect it to your Wi-Fi. Here's a list of compatible devices, which we'll talk about here at the end of this video, but you just got your general settings there. Okay, so that's a general overview. Let's check out the app. Okay, so the general purpose of the Brilliance is to make any normal light a smart light. So they control the lights that were originally on your light switches and make them smart. But in addition to that, you can also control your smart lights if you have smart bulbs like the LifeX or Philips Hue. You can go into each room and control those bulbs from the Brilliant app and the Brilliant control panel. You've also, just like the Brilliant itself, you can control the thermostat, your smart thermostat from the app. 
You can change the temperature up and down. You can switch modes, heat, cool, auto. You can also select the range if you do keep it on auto. You can go in and control your smart lock if it's a compatible smart lock. Again, we'll talk about the list of compatible devices at the end. You can unlock and lock your door. Then you've got those cameras that are built into the Brilliant you can control. And a side note, you can turn those off if it's in a room you don't want that camera viewable. Then one of the most popular features of the Brilliant is the Sonos functionality. You can go in here and use your Sonos favorites, control the volume, so you can do that on the app as well as the Brilliant itself. Then here you've got a general overview of the actual Brilliant switches. Again, the normal switches that control your normal lights. And here's the scenes. I just have very general scenes on mine. Kind of an overview of every room in your in your house. So there's quite a bit you can do with the Brilliant app. Okay, so the app is full of features. You can see how it works nicely with other devices. Speaking of that, let's talk about compatibility. Not only does the Brilliant work with Apple HomeKit, Google Home, and Amazon A-L-E-X-A, but also several other devices. So let's take a look at that real quick. So here on the Brilliant website, you can kind of see all the different devices. It talks about HomeKit, Google Home, Amazon, but you can also control your August Smart Lock. You've got the Ecobee thermostat. These are just some of the ones, you know, kind of the big dogs that stick out. You can use the Google Assistant, Google Home. You've got Google Nest, which was a recent addition. You got Honeywell, Quickset, all big dogs in the smart home world. LifeX, so obviously again there with the smart lights, just like you'll see Philips Hue, Leviton, all the smart, most popular smart options uh, for lights. Then you've got overhead door, which is great. You know, all of this can be used on that control panel. So what you saw in my apartment, you know, some of these things I couldn't do because it was an apartment. The ring, you can see your cameras there. You've got um, some of the, uh, the smart things. You've got, again, Sonos, which is a big one, TP-Link, and then Yale and Wemo. So quite a bit is compatible with this thing, and it's really awesome to get that functionality all in one little control panel. So those are the brilliant light switches. Again, you can use them with Amazon Alexa, Google Home, and Apple HomeKit, like we're using them here. Pretty cool addition to any smart home. Definitely a cool addition to this smart apartment. Again, if you want to see a tour of our smart apartment, check in the link in the description below. We just did a very recent tour of this place and all our smart devices. So hopefully you liked this video. If you did, please hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel. Many more videos to come. Until the next one, peace and love.